Hey, what's up? Uh, first thing I want to go over is um, the uh, settings. Uh, trying to get this thing set up like kind of like a first person shooter, I guess. Uh, so we'll hop right in, just show you some of the settings I got. Um, for the most part, I left everything default. There are some changes. Uh, so we'll go into controls. And mouse controls is where we'll start. Um, with your mouse X axis, I set that to yaw uh, so that, you know, a left and right is uh, not going to rotate you as default I believe is set this is going to actually make you your nose move left and right um, I can't remember if these were set as on or off but I've got them set to off uh, obviously this is your pitch uh, up and down uh, for your nose mouse sensitivity I don't think that I changed it um, but you can set that however uh, you feel every mouse is different. You may have a gaming mouse, uh, you know, whatever. I don't, so um, I just left it alone, I believe. Uh, I don't know if I messed with any of this, but, you know, give you a second to look. Um, the mouse widget is basically the little arrow in the center when you're actually in game. Um, so it kind of tells you where you're at. All right, we'll close that. Flight rotation, I did change a little bit. Default, I believe, is A and D. Um, I set those to Q and E. Uh, just for that's the way I prefer it you can leave it however you like obviously uh, just a suggestion I uh, don't think I changed anything else uh, thrust uh, up and down or I'm sorry left and right is A and D um, again leave it however you like uh, thrust up and down uh, thrust up I set the space and thrust down I set to left control kind of keeps all of your thrusting and pitching and everything like or not pitching but thrusting and uh, lateral movement things like that all in one little area uh, that you can operate with uh, you know one hand fairly simply I guess uh, you'll get used to it it takes a little bit of time uh, I don't think we changed anything here flight throttle increase W decrease S increments are continuous um, the X cuts your speed completely. Um, I went and set the tilde or tilde key, however you want to say it, to 75%. That becomes really important when you're traveling uh, in frame shift. Um, I'll kind of get into that as we go into uh, further um, just kind of tutorials, I guess, if you want to call them. And I got speed set to 100%. I rarely even use that, to be completely honest with you. So... So you didn't mess with that. Mess with any of this. Targeting is the same. Weapons, cooling, miscellaneous. Ah, this right here. Um, good for like screenshots and whatnot. Um, I set it to B because that's just something that I don't ever hardly use. Uh, but you know you can mess around with that i won't get into that um mode switches i did set head look to mouse three simply because um going into head look mode actually centers your mouse so like if your ship is drifting and you don't feel like fine tuning it with your mouse you can just click your middle mouse button and it'll automatically center it um, you can use Headlook to look around, access the different panels in your ship, which I'll show you um, as we go into uh, takeoff and getting familiar uh, with the ship and the layout and whatnot. Um, close that. I don't believe we did anything else. Um, driving, I don't believe you have uh, horizons, so we won't get into that. So I'll cancel this. Um, so that would be the settings tutorial, I guess. Um, you, you know, set your graphics however you choose whatever i'm not getting into that at all um, but i will come back and we will go ahead and get in ship and i'll show you a takeoff and just basically getting your ship out of a dock or out of a station and ready to jump to another system get into navigation all that good stuff so i'll be back with another video